I've always wanted to be a jeweller. I tried a lot of different materials, but the minute I touched a piece of metal, I knew that's what I wanted to do. My great-great-grandfather was a blacksmith, but I've got two fascinations, one metal, and from my grandmother's, the textiles, I remember the day I learnt to knit, it was like I knew how to do it. And then I went home and I tried it. I got two pins from the drawing board and tried knitting with cotton on pins. So I've always had this fascination for miniature as well. When I started making, I've ended up combining those two techniques to come up with my woven work. From an early age, I was told I loved to take things apart and that still happens 60 odd years later. Karen's come into my life probably 20 years ago. And we hit it off right from the start because we had a love of not going shopping. It's been a thrift love affair <laughs> ever since. I think when I moved out of home as a teenager, my father put together a bit of a toolbox and in that toolbox was a little hammer and it stayed with me ever since. I came across Karen's hammer when she was working on her sewing machines with this hammer about this long with the handle broken. We were pruning a bush out there and I saw a twig and I thought, I know what I can use you for. I just shaped it. Karen was really happy with it. I think it's come up excellent. It just had these little imperfections on it and that's exactly how we are. Whereas people would say, oh no, you can't have spots on it, you've got to have it looking pristine. But to me, that's perfect. That is a perfect hammer. The interesting part about this project was the person that repaired the hammer saw less importance of the material that was taken away or broken and that idea of which part of the actual piece is precious was the most important part to me because the whole thing is precious and the discarded part, which was the broken handle, is the bit that has the personality. We got contact by one of your colleagues. Have you still got that piece of wood? And I actually found it had rolled under a part of the bench and we found it, we saved it. So. I couldn't imagine what she could make with it, to be honest. For me, being a maker and a silversmith, the idea that somebody has used this hammer handle over and over again and it has little dings on it, once you start looking at it, the colour paint that it was used near, it was all kind of exciting to then give that piece a bit of life. So there's a void inside the hammer handle as a part of the process. I wanted to give the hammer a bit of its voice back. I got carried away and so at the very last minute I'd explored the decorative element which is glass beads and crochet. Oh my, it's really, really wonderful and, and to see it like this, it's quite emotional really something that even I had discarded has been turned into something absolutely beautiful. This is what transformative repair is all about for us. Not needing to buy anything, just making beautiful, creative opportunities with what's been discarded.